Compression of the human bone. Uh, the bulk modulus B sub B for the bone is 15 gigapascals. If a diver in training is put into a pressurized suit, by how much would the pressure have to be raised in atmospheres above atmospheric pressure to compress her bones by delta V over V0 equals minus 0.1% of their original volume? So let's do this part A first. Uh, the change in pressure, delta P, that is responsible for the change in volume is minus the bulk modulus of the bone uh, multiplied with delta V over the original volume. Now, this is uh, basically a fundamental relation for elastic properties of materials. In this case, the bulk modulus of the bone is 15 gigapascals. Uh, that is to say it is 15 times 10 to 9 pascals. And delta V divided by V0, the fractional change in the volume is minus 0.1%. So it is minus 0.1 divided by 100. Uh, so from this relationship, we can see that delta P should be equal to minus 15 times 10 to 9 pascals multiplied with minus 0 0.001. So this gives us 15 times 10 to 9 times 10 to minus 3 which is 15 times 10 to 6 pascals. Now we have to convert pascals to atmospheres. One atmosphere pressure is 1.01 .01 times 10 to 5 pascals. So using this conversion, we obtain delta P is equal to uh, 15 times 10 to 6 pascals divided by roughly 10 to 5. So if you neglect this 0, 1 here, uh, this gives us a change in pressure of 150 atmospheres. All right. And when I say change in pressure, basically I note that my reference point is the atmospheric pressure. Delta P is the final pressure the diver feels minus the atmospheric pressure. Let's look at part B. <clears throat> Given that the pressure in the ocean increases by delta P of 1.0 times 10 to 4 pascals, for every meter of depth below the surface. How deep would this diver have to go for her bones to compress by 0.1%? Does it seem that bone compression is a problem she needs to be concerned with when diving? Okay, so the change in pressure for every meter is 10 to 4 pascals. So we have 10 to 4 times delta H equals to delta P. So this gives us that the change in the depth delta H should be equal to delta P times 10 to minus 4 delta P is in pascals. This will be in meters. <clears throat> now, uh, for a delta P of 15 uh, times 10 to 6 pascals, 15 times 10 to 6 pascals. Remember, that is the uh, pressure that gives us this compression. Uh, times 10 to minus 4, we obtain a delta H of 1,500 meters. So we find that the depth the diver has to dive into is 1.5 kilometers. 
<clears throat> All right. So uh, what is the conclusion? 1.5 kilometers is a very uh, high uh, depth. So since uh, we see that unprotected divers that are that do not have these pressure suits uh, do not reach such depths roughly 1.5 kilometers bone compression bone compression is not a problem to be concerned with. So when we dive into, uh, into the ocean, if we don't go very much far down, then bone compression is not a problem. If we have to go to 1.5 kilometers depth, then we need protection. So unprotected divers they will have an issue if, uh, if they have to dive into such a, a great depth, um, they need some extra protection. Okay, so uh, this, is, this problem is an application of elastic properties of materials. And remember, in the case of uh, pressure, a change in pressure is responsible for a change in volume and the relationship is delta P equals minus bulk modulus delta V over V0 because an increasing pressure decreases the volume typically. We have to put a minus sign here so that the bulk modulus is a positive quantity. The bulk modulus for the bone is given, it's 15 gigapascals, and we want to know uh, by how much the pressure have to ch will have to change in order to have a bone compression by minus 0.1%. And uh, the bulk modulus of the bone, 15 times 10 to 9 pascals, and delta V over V0 is minus 0.1 over 100, that's the fractional change in the volume, we find that the pressure increase should be 15 times 10 to 6 pascals or 15 megapascals, and since one atmosphere is roughly 1 times 10 to 5 pascals, we obtain 150 atmospheres of pressure change. So the final pressure will be 151 atmospheres. Now, if we go into the ocean, the, the increase in the pressure is by an amount 10 to 4 pascals for every meter of depth. So 10 to 4 times delta H is delta P. And if this is the delta P, 15 times 10 to 6 pascals, uh, we see that delta H should be 1,500 meters. So 1.5 kilometers depth will give us this minus 0.1% bone compression. But uh, we see that unprotected divers will not reach such uh, high depths, uh, 1.5 kilometers, of the order 1.5 kilometers. Bond compression is typically not a problem. But if we have to really uh, dive into uh, such depths, then we need extra protection.